to another episode of Coffee with Cliff. Today we're going to talk about uh, indoor and outdoor blower motors and fan motors, ECM and PSC. And we're going to point out a lot of cool features. Today. All right, the first motor we're going to talk about is the PSC motor. It's a fairly simple motor design. You'll see this in a lot of legacy BART equipment and maybe even some newer models in the condenser section. The motor is fairly simplistic. We're just sending high voltage to the motor and the motor is operating. But the motor is also paired with a capacitor, so we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, some things to notice about the motor itself is that it's going to have bushings or bearings in it. Uh, the motor should spin freely. If you notice that your motor is not spinning freely, then there's a chance that the bearings or bushings could be bad in the motor, so we need a new motor. Uh, another thing to note is that we have a ground wire. We need to make sure that we have a good earth ground to the motor while the motor's operating. So when we talk about capacitors in motors, we need to make sure that we have the right microfarad value capacitor to pair with the motor. Now when you're troubleshooting the capacitor or the motor design, make sure that you follow the proper procedures to discharge the capacitor. And we've got a lot of great materials on how to do motor troubleshooting. Just go to www.bardhvac.com or look at your owner's manual that came with the product. The next motor we're going to talk about is an ECM constant airflow design. ECM motors are great as far as energy efficiency goes and performance as well. Um, the constant airflow motor design will speed up or slow down based on static pressure. So it's very good for filters of a higher MERV rating up to MERV 13 normally. Um, it's very good at duct static applications as well. Now some things that you'll notice about the ECM constant airflow motors is that when you spin the shaft, you're going to feel like it almost feels like there's notches in there, but it's because of the earth magnets that are used in the technology. So we basically, we have a motor and we have a motor controller that does the thinking for the motor. Now the constant airflow motors that you're going to see are going to have different pins used for different things. One thing to note about the constant airflow ECM motor is that it's powered up all the time. So we have high voltage going to the motor the whole time that the unit has power. So we always want to make sure that we disconnect unit power before we do any service work with an ECM motor. Um, also, there are no capacitors for these motors. So there are capacitors inside the controller that will hold a charge. So always follow all the proper safety procedures to make sure that the motor's discharged all its power, which is normally waiting for several minutes. But there'll be a label on the motor and in the instruction manual to show you how long you need to wait. So you'll see this five pin plug up at the top. That's where our high voltage is connected. And then you'll see a 16 pin connection where the low voltage connects to the, mo the motor. Now, if you go into your installation manual that ships with the product, it'll tell you which 16 pin plugs are energized with 24 volts during fan operation, cooling stage one, cooling stage two, heating, all those operations will energize different pins and this is in a chart in your installation manual. So that pretty much sums up the ECM constant airflow motor. We do have kits for older units that have a PSC motor where you can replace that with an ECM product for those higher MERV static levels and also for duct designs as well. This concludes another episode of Coffee with Cliff. Um, remember, if you have any motor questions about ECM or PSC, you can always find the information at www.bardhvac.com or in your user manual and installation instructions that ship with the product. Thanks a lot.